Hello everyone. Today we have selected a very important topic, which is uh, mean median mood of uh, group data. This one, uh, if we go through the question overall, this is uh, mean median mood. Estimate the mean. Then uh, we will be going through conversion of number into significant figure and standard form also. So it's basically a combination of uh, different uh, concepts. So standard form also and then we are having uh, this one upper bound and lower bound concept also. This is very important question which is having uh, three, four concepts and this is basically 13 mark question and importance of 13 marks in IGCS exam is huge and uh, for both Cambridge and Excel students should focus on these type of questions so that they can get good grades and getting good, good grades mean if you are losing 13 marks you will never fight for uh, A star or maybe A also so you will be losing the highest grade if you are losing 13 marks so you will have to focus on these type of concepts i'm emphasizing on it for the students who are targeting for a, a star they should go through each and every concept in detail and let us go to the question without wasting time this is a part the table shows information about the mass of each of 1000 eggs this is mass, this is frequency, and we have to calculate the estimate of the mean. So what we are doing for the range, we are taking the mid range. So this will be 45 and mid of uh, 50 and 56 is 53. And similarly, mid of uh, 56 and 64 is 60. And mid of uh, 64 and 70 is 67. So these are the midpoints, and we uh, we can use the formula. And the formula is uh, sigma f x over sigma f, and this is equal to mean. So this is the this is the mean formula which we are applying. Hopefully, you know this formula. If you don't know, you need to memorize this. Now. We'll calculate the mean and mean will be equal to, we can write here, mean is equal to 126 multiplied by 45 and plus this will be 520 multiplied by 53 and plus this will be 154 multiplied by 60 and plus last one will be 200 multiplied by 67 and divided by the total number of eggs which is 1000 so we can write 1000 and now we can calculate by the help of calculator so this will be 126 multiplied by 45 plus this will be 520 multiplied by 53 plus this will be 154 multiplied by 60 plus this will be 200 multiply by 67 and divided by 1000 and it is giving us double five eight seven double five eight seven divided by 1000 or the decimal value we can check which is 55.87 55.87 this will be our answer 55.87 grams and see this is four mark question very important straightforward question now for the second part, an egg is picked. An egg is picked at random from 1000 eggs. Find the probability that this egg has a mass greater than 56 grams. Uh, give your answer as a fraction in simplest form. So more than 60, 56 grams. So more than 56 is 154 and 200. So we can write 154 plus 200 out of total eggs which is uh, 1000 and we can check this this will be 154 plus 200 and divided by 1000 is resulting to 177 by 500 and this will be 177 over 500 this will be uh, our final answer for two marks now b part b part says 
uh, one year a farmer makes a profit of this much selling eggs write this profit correct to two significant figures so two significant figures you know uh, we have to change this portion to zero so seven is more than five so we will be writing two five will be adding one in four so two five and triple zero dollars and this is our answer up for two significant figures and this is one mark hopefully you know the concept then in standard form also we have to write the same number in standard form so number is two four seven three zero dollars and standard form we need decimal after the first uh, non-zero number so it will be this one multiply by we have taken four jumps one two three four jumps so 10 raised to plus four and then we can remove this zero as well so our final answer will be 2.473 into 10 raised to the power 4 and this is in scientific form standard form basically or scientific form also you can say and this is one mark part which we have done now the c part c part is uh, lower bound upper bound question it says on a farm there are 500 hen correct to the nearest 10 so correct to the nearest uh, 10 means it is lower bound and upper bound so we can check hen hen we can write hens are what hens are uh, this will be upper bound this will be lower bound upper bound will be half of 10 is 5 so 505 will be upper bound and 495 will be the lower bound now for the next part I, in one year the man the mean number of eggs laid per hen was 320 eggs correct to the nearest 20 correct to the nearest 20 so eggs we can uh, 320 we can check for the upper bound lower bound so upper bound and lower bound and half of 20 will be 10 so it will be 300 30 and uh, this will be 310 plus minus 10 so if it is 20 we are dividing it by 2 and we are taking plus minus so similarly this was plus minus 10 divided by 2 this is how we are finding the lower bound and upper bound and what next they are saying calculate the upper bound for the total number of eggs all the hens lay in that year so upper bound upper bound is required so we'll take the maximum so upper bound we will write upper bound of eggs or total eggs you can say and this will be equal to 505 and multiply by 330 and this will be resulting to 505 multiplied by 330 is equal to 181550 basically you have done here mistake so zero and this is one triple six five zero one triple six five zero one triple six five zero this will be the eggs and this answer for three marks hopefully you understood this now this part which is uh, last part which is two marks part another farm has 800 hens and correct to nearest 20 so 800 will be we can check for 800 upper bound and lower bound this will be upper bound and this will be lower bound we can check half nearest 20 so plus minus 10 so 810 and this will be a 790 plus minus 10 we have made and they are saying calculate the lower bound for the difference between the number of hens on the two farms so difference they are asking for difference but they are asking for lower bound for the difference so lower bound of the difference will be how we'll be calculating we'll take lower bound of this 790 and the upper bound for this one which is 505 so minus 505 
if you will be taking other options like upper bound minus upper bound or upper bound minus lower bound you will get more answer so because they are asking for lower bound of the difference so you will have to take this one so that you will you should get the minimum difference that is 790 minus 505 will be resulting to 285 and this is the lower bound of the difference between the two and this was a two marks uh, question and you, you can feel that they, these are the different concepts, lower bound, upper bound. And always when they are asking for lower bound, upper bound questions, mostly they are giving these type of questions. Like for example, V, uh, v is equal to S or, yeah, or for example, uh, A is equal to, in different formulas they are giving, like for example, A is equal to B over C. So they want upper bound of this one or lower bound of this one. You will have to uh, use the division or they are using A is equal to B minus C over D. These type of questions, complex uh, upper bound questions and lower bound questions they are giving. So don't go, just expect that you will be getting very simple lower bound, upper bound questions. So you will have to be prepared for the difficult questions also. And uh, this one, a standard form and significant figures are simple questions. Then uh, in person, in this one mean, they are giving this range and this formula for the mean is very important, which you will have to keep in mind. Uh, hopefully you understood this uh, question. And if you like the video and want to have more of these type of videos in future as well, then you will have to subscribe the channel and press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming latest videos. Recommend this channel to your uh, friends and class fellows for their benefit and introduce this channel to your respected teachers. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.